Hello everyone, my name is Teacher Lisa and today I am going to discuss about sentence structure. In this lesson, you will learn how to write sentences. As we all know, sentences is a primary lesson that students should know when they study English. First, let's define the word sentence. A sentence may consist of one independent clause or more independent clause and dependent clause. An independent clause is also called the main clause while dependent clause is also called as subordinating clause. All right. There are actually three kinds of sentences according to structure. First, we have simple sentences. A simple sentence may only consist of one independent clause. An independent clause, always remember that has a subject and a verb. Okay, so let's have, let's give an example of simple sentence. But before I give you the example, I will give you the easiest pattern in order for you to write simple sentences. First, we have, first pattern, we have SV, subject and verb. We have one subject and one verb. While, second, no, second pattern, subject, subject and another verb. Lastly, we have subject, verb, and another verb. So as you can see, we have here the easiest pattern. So we have number one, as we, which is one subject and one verb. And number two, SSV, which is subject, subject, and one verb. While number three, we have one subject and two verb. So let's have number one. So we need only one subject and one verb. Okay, so example. She ate an apple. All right. She is our subject and ate is our verb. So this one is an independent clause because it has a subject and a verb, which is one subject and one verb. All right. So let's have number two. So we need two subjects and one verb. So example, teacher Lisa and Tom play football every day. So, we have here, Teacher Lisa and Tom play football every day. So, we have Teacher Lisa as our subject, Tom is another subject, and play is the verb. So, again, this is an example of simple sentence because we have one subject, another subject, and verb. Alright? So lastly, we have one subject and two verb. So example, teacher Lisa goes to the library and studies every day. Alright? So look at this. Teacher Lisa goes to the library and studies every day. So again, we have teacher Lisa as a subject, goes, we have verb, and studies is another verb. So we have one subject and two verb. So in order for you to write or construct a simple sentence, all you have to do is to follow this pattern. So again, we have one subject, one verb, two subjects and one verb, one subject and two verbs. So, I think uh, this is our lesson for today. So, the other structure of sentences we will continue tomorrow. So, that's it for today. Thank you.